This is one of a series of videos that I'm doing in relation to the preferences for the Engine Driver app. In this particular case I'm going to be looking at the web view option within the throttle page. So one of the th nice things that uh, you can do with an Engine Driver is that if you've got a layout with um, DCC controlled points or turnouts uh, you can be working with your locomotive and also be quickly able to change uh, the points or turnouts uh, without really exiting the throttle screen. Um, so what we can do is on the throttle screen, so in the preferences, we can say that we want to have the web view available, so that's the throttle web view, and it can only go at the bottom at the moment, and we'll bring that up. And so now it shows a panel down here, which is actually just a web browser, and I can scroll down and I can find my panel. There's my panel. I'll just move around so I can see it reasonably. Well, the, the majority of it. Well, I can show you some options at the end of this as to how to improve upon that too. So um, I've now got my locomotive which I can control and I've got my points which I can control as well. Um, now that's fine if I'm only controlling one locomotive which is probably recommended but um, if you are running more than one locomotive you can see that we've lost uh, pretty much uh, there, there's just not really enough screen available to do that. Um, but we can do some things there. So the first thing I tend to do uh, is improve uh, on the available space by setting up the um, immersive mode. Oops, wrong one. So that's under the swipe up down preferences. I'm going to turn immersive mode on, which if I come out, gives me a little more screen real estate because it's made the status bar at the top and bottom of the screen disappear. And now my uh, it's still loading, but now my space available for the web page uh, is slightly better. Uh, it's still thinking about that, just for fun. Um, while that's coming up, it doesn't really matter. What I can also do, um, I can go into the swipe up down preferences again, and under the swipe up preferences, I can change it so that it hides the web view. So I come out of that now. All right, it's still, yeah, there's my panel back up again. So same as what I had before. I've got a teeny bit more space there, but it's still not very good. Um, what I can do is I can swipe up. I can select another loco in here. So I've got full access to the two locomotives. But if I swipe up again, there's my panel. I can change the points. Swipe up again. I've got full access to the um, uh, to the my locomotives. The other one inside the preferences, um, if you've got a larger panel or it does, you've got a smaller screen, you can go into the web view preferences and you can increase the available space. It brings it from 50%, I think, up to 60%, so just slightly larger. So now when it comes up, it's just slightly larger on screen. And again, I can swipe up and get access to my locomotives.